Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. HVK all day. Let's get it, man. All right, welcome back to the channel. I have a funny video for you guys today. I'm going to do a raw reaction video to this one short that I seen, this YouTube short. And I guess it's by this, uh, this corn star, right? This male corn star where he's talking about how SR is bullshit, you know? And I thought it was hilarious, guys. I thought the video was hilarious and I thought, and I was actually pretty surprised by the comments, you know? This video is about to show you how a lot of people are starting to become more aware of, you know, practices like SR, you know, how we've been lied to about releasing and how it's healthy and prostate cancer BS myth. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a reaction video, shall we? Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And let's get into today's video. <laughs> if you've gone for a very long period of time doing those and retaining the semen and not having sex either, you should at a certain point start having wet dreams. Even as an older man, if you just abstain from releasing for an extended period of time, it's a physical, biological like need to get that cut out. Uh, so if you're not having wet dreams and you are abstaining from jackling at all, no semen, total semen retention, no fabric, etc., then there is you might want to make sure you're having sex because there's going to be potential damage that's being done to your prostate by standing for an extended period of time like that. If you've gone for a very long period. <laughs> All right, guys. So first thing I want to say is this guy looks depleted AF, bro. Straight up zombie. Gargoyle city out here. All right. So, yeah, if you guys don't remember what I said in the, be the beginning of the video, this guy's a corn star. This guy is saying that sr is bullshit but he busts nuts for a living <laughs> so that in itself he can't even say nothing about it bro he really can't um but i just want to show you guys some of the comments you know so let's get into it i wrote the eyes are the window to the soul that's facts bro you know this guy has no life in him you know this guy is a peace star, explains a whole lot. People who were celibate their whole life never had any kind of prostate problems. Facts, bro. It's like, when have you heard of, of a monk getting prostate cancer? That's just a myth to keep you guys from, you know, being scared to, to try SR, to be like, oh, I need to because, you know, it's healthy for me to do that, bro. Like... You know, those are just like myths, bro. They're, they're lies. When have you heard of a monk getting prostate cancer? Makes no sense. Um, yeah, you know what this comment said, bro. Prostate damage is a myth of the medical system. And in, in ejaculation equals reabsorption. That's true, man. You know, those nutrients just, it just breaks down in, into your body. And that's how you start, you know, becoming more healthier, bro. You know, you start having a lot of vitality within yourself. You know, when you're a depleted coomer, you're you're lacking nutrients, man. You're lacking all these essential minerals and, and vitamins, bro, from that your that your body needs um, when you're in that constant relapse cycle. And this is probably like something that you never really noticed. Like if you looked at the hub back then. You probably never really noticed this, but if you were to look at the the male corn stars, right, with a new pair of lenses, right, with this new SR awareness, if you were to go look at how they look, bro, they just look like zombies, man. They just, just look like soulless. You know what I'm saying? They're just busting their life force away, just becoming um, brittle as a man. I think this guy's like 30. There's this one comment on here where he says like, oh, that's why that's why this guy uh, looks like he's 60 years old when he's actually like 30. But let's keep let's keep reading, guys. This person said he's giving a lot of beta energy. Trust me. <laughs> this guy said you are the BS facts, bro. Be quiet. He's saying that because he uh, they want to keep retention a secret. You never tell anybody always tell people what's bad and they should ejaculate don't argue if you know you know see you at the top 
that's true bro it's like another thing that i notice is like when something is real they'll try to like the mainstream media they'll try to make it seem like it's a joke or right or they'll try to play it off as that it's wrong you know when something is the truth they always try to you know kind of joke around like not take it serious bro because they want to lead people astray they want people to you know continue being a slave to their lust continue being weak out here because that's how you control a society is by making the men weak um and then from there you know you're able to control a lot a lot more things when the when the men are emasculated and they're just depleted and they're just weaker out here okay not only that bro it's just on a spiritual level yeah man it's it's just demonic energy straight up bro like that corn industry it's just demonic all right so this guy is literally a demon trying to give you advice on sr and saying that you know you sh you should uh, not do that all right so that makes totally sense right um let's see what else we got we did totally what does this guy say we did totally lost the good sense nature is so obvious if you stop and clean all the ideological noise from your head people take any idea today and turn them into a marketing and flags of campaign you never been strong enough to experience it stop knocking those who are strong enough to fight their temptations stumble sometimes but get right back up to channel to greatness please be humble what the heck? this guy's face says sr is no bullshit <laughs> wrong you have to love yourself before you love anything else facts uh, fake news facts masturbation is a sign of captivity <laughs> yeah like the monkeys bro you know stop this guy's this guy said no fap and semem retention is bs someone said oh uh, it, it disappeared but it said coomer let's see fake fake that's true bro you know Let's listen to it one more time. Sure, you're having sex because there's gonna be potential damage. Yeah, let me show you another one that I seen by him. It's pretty funny. Who up? Transmutation of sexual energy. <laughs> Seaman retention. Seriously, really? Is that what we're getting excited about not ejaculating these days. Come on, guys. I think we're here to learn how to have better sex and more sex, not less. One of the things that should happen if you are retaining your semen and you're not actually having sex and you're not masturbating, you should actually have wet dreams, to be perfectly honest. You will probably find that if you do semen within for long enough, you'll actually start having wet dreams again, even as an adult. Having an erotic dream and then you just happen to ejaculate. Wet pants. Hooray! Semen retention. Shut up, bitch! Shit is that? You just feel like you're not connected with with life. You just feel depressed. Um, so you're basically doing it to yourself, guys. You're not releasing because you're stressed. You're stressed because you're releasing. 